Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video all about the top trending handbags of 2017. So I do have a few bags that fall into this category and I will be showing you those, but then some of the other bags that I'm gonna be talking about, I'll just be inserting pictures. So you guys will definitely get some good eye candy out of this video. And I will just get the cat out of the bag. You've already noticed I definitely dyed my hair. It's a lot lighter than it used to be. Although for some reason on this um, camera and the viewfinder and everything, I think because of my lights, it's picking up that it's like super blonde. And in real life, it's really not as blonde as it seems like on camera. But anyway, I did just want to kind of go a little bit lighter for summer and just kind of freshen things up a little bit. And then we'll see what happens when it starts to get cold again. But at least for now, I'm happy with the lighter shade. And if you do happen to be new here, then hello, my name is Shay. And I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you're notified for my future videos. I do put out two to three videos every week. Okay, so let's get right into this video. I'm gonna break this video up into two different sections. The first section is going to be specific handbags or specific handbag designs that are extremely popular and very trendy right now and then the second half of the video is going to actually be designers as a whole to watch out for in 2017 they're going to be designers that I think are very very popular right now and you know everybody's kind of talking about them so I think this video is going to be really great for two different kinds of people it could actually be good for people that want to completely avoid trendy bags and popular things they want to stick to the classic designs, the timeless bags and they kind of don't want to stray away from that. And so this will kind of give them a little bit insight to maybe what to stay away from. And then of course there's other people that really want to be on trend and with the times and you know very current in their style. And so I think this will be helpful to kind of maybe open their eyes to some bags maybe they hadn't considered but are very popular right now. Me personally, I really like to kind of have a balance between the two different genres. I think mainly my handbag collection is more on the timeless classic side, which I love. Love. Um, but I do like to kind of incorporate some trendier, you know, in style current things into my collection as well. Um, but as far as clothes go, I definitely, I don't know, I think I balance between both in that, in that realm as well. But this video is not about clothes, so let's get right into the handbags. The first design I have been seeing everywhere. I mean, I've seriously been seeing it nonstop. I've been seeing it online, like on social media and everything. I've been seeing it in real life. I've just been seeing it all over the different stores and everything, and that would be bucket bags. The specific one that I'm seeing more in the designer world would be the Louis Vuitton Neo Noé. Um, people have been loving this bag, and to be totally honest, I really love it too. I think it has an amazing price point. It's very, very, no, it's not affordable by any means, but it, it does have a really good price point for Louis Vuitton, and I think you get a lot of bag for your money. Um, and it, it comes in different uh, colors because it is a canvas, monogram canvas, but inside and some of the lining, you can get specific colors. There's a black, and then there's the rose ballerine, and then I believe there's also the red. I think I think the bag is pretty versatile as well. I think the, there's a strap and you can definitely kind of like change the way you wear it and depending on your height and everything. I don't know tons about it, but I am seeing it a lot on social media and every time I see it, I'm kind of like sucked in like, oh, I really do like that bag. However, I think think I'm probably just going to stay away because I do think in the long run it is kind of just like a you know an on-trend piece which is great um, but I don't know if I love it enough to actually add it to my collection and then in a few years I think it might be out of style. Um, I really again just disclosure I don't want to offend anybody with this video because almost everything that I'm going to talk about today I seriously love like I really really like it I can't add everything to my collection but I just don't want to hurt anyone's feelings so while we are talking about Louis Vuitton let me just talk about the pochette Matisse um, I love this bag I am so incredibly glad that I did make this purchase however I must admit that it is extremely popular right now a lot of people love it a lot of people want to buy it it's it's I think it might be sold out in the canvas right now maybe it's not maybe it's back I'm not sure but it was so incredibly popular that Louis Vuitton decided to bring it out and release it in the emprunt leather. The emprunt leather is the different colored um, leather that's really, really soft and a little bit indented with the monogram print. But people have been loving it and I love it in the emprunt leather as well. But I think because I already have it in the canvas, um, I think I will just stick to this design. Now, as far as classy versus trendy, I do think that this bag is actually gonna turn into a classic piece of Louis Vuitton, much like the Speedy, the Neverfull, the, the Alma, um, some people would argue the favorite might be kind of like a classic piece. I'm not sure about that one, but I do think 
that this, even though it's really popular right now, I do think that it's going to kind of withstand, you know, some time. I think in a few years, people are still going to be talking about it and still going to be loving it. People might not be talking about it as much as they are now. I think people will still be buying it for years to come and it, they will be adding this to their classic line. I do have several videos out there about this bag, so make sure to check those out. I did do a video specifically on kind of just like a review of it and how much it fits and everything and how I like it, but newsflash, I definitely love it. The next trend that I am seeing all over the place are top handle bags and more specifically the Coco Chanel top handle bag I think is gorgeous it's a gorgeous gorgeous Chanel handbag however I do think it is you know gaining popularity as time goes on and I would say it's more of like an on-trend bag right now for Chanel um, I love it I would love to add it to my collection however there's you know other Chanel bags that I think would be more first in line before that one but I definitely have been seeing that a lot I've been seeing other designers kind of incorporate like a top handle into into their bags as well and granted I know top handles have kind of always been a design for handbags however I think the a more pronounced top handle bag is is kind of what I'm talking about for instance Gucci is also doing some bamboo top handle bags there's a lot of different designers out there that are incorporating a specific top handle um, where that's kind of more the the eye candy or the the focal point of the bag unlike the actual bag another bag that I think is extremely popular popular right now is actually the miniature bag and I don't exactly even know which designers are really running with this I've just been seeing them everywhere I'm going to try and insert several different pictures in fact I'm pretty sure the, the first time that I ever saw it was actually in coach I think I was just browsing in there and I noticed the tiniest teeny tiny bag um, in there and ever since I noticed that one I've been seeing them everywhere so it's just this tiny tiny bag it almost looks like it would be a little bag for like a three or a four year old girl um, but people have been loving them I think it's kind of like a little accessory to add to your outfit I don't really think it's a functional handbag you could obviously throw in a lip gloss um, maybe one key there's it really is not going to fit that much at all I really think it's more of a piece to kind of accent your outfit rather than a bag like a real bag the last thing that I want to talk about as far as specific designs that are very trendy right now would be the backpack and you guys I'm sure all knew that I was gonna bring this up and I must admit if you would have asked me one year ago if I would ever get a designer backpack I would have immediately without hesitation said no way that's just not for me and you guys I am like I'm like lusting after a backpack and I I never in a million years thought that I would want a backpack and now it's like it's like growing on my like it's, it might even be like the next thing that I want to get and I don't know if I really will get it but like I'm thinking about it so much and it's just so surprising to me and I don't know if it's because so many people are getting them and so I'm just like oh that looks really nice but then on the other hand like I have two boys we're always going places we're going to the park we're going to like the city and walking around the city and, and you know it, and I love my handbags and, and you know my crossbodies and everything. I love doing that. It's definitely hands free that way. However, there's just something about a backpack now that's like it's still like gorgeous because it's kind of like a designer backpack and it really adds to your outfit and and everything. But it's yet kind of casual but kind of dressy. I don't know what it is, but like I'm so into them right now. So that is definitely an on trend popular thing right now. Um, people have been loving the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack. I've been seeing it like crazy. Um, there's different sizes you can get and people have been loving them. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll add that. I'm not really sure. Um, there's also a Chanel backpack that people have been loving too. But then if you go even into kind of like the high street, you know, lower end, I guess, you know, trendy boutiques and everything, you're seeing backpack designs all through the stores there as well. So maybe it would be better for me to kind of get a, a nice backpack from a store like that see if I really like it and kind of try it out and if I think I'm really gonna utilize it well and use it all the time then maybe I could splurge on the more expensive designer one that I actually want okay so that does it for the specific handbag designs 
that I think are very, very popular right now. If you guys think of anything else, leave them in the comment section below because I know I'm probably missing things, but I did mention five different things. So let me know if you guys think of anything else. Okay, so let's move on to the actual designers, like as a whole, that are very, very popular and very on trend right now. And they're designers that I think you should kind of watch out for for the next year. We'll just get this out of the way. Gucci, I've mentioned this before many, many times. I'm not gonna spend much time on it at all, but as you guys know, Gucci has had a major change and revolution in their design department and it's fabulous. People have been loving it. Um, I, I really think they you know, transformed their designs and everything and people are eating it up, so that is wonderful. Um, as far as the Gucci Marmont is concerned, a lot of people have been seeing that everywhere. Um, I have a belt. I used to want the Gucci Marmont bag and I still love it. I, I think it's gorgeous. Trust me, I still want it. However, I do think because it is a little bit flashy that in time, eventually, it will be a little bit dated. But don't get me wrong, I still love it. Um, and we'll see what happens. I could be totally wrong. All of this, I could be totally, totally wrong. So the next designer that I think everybody should be watching out for in 2017 would be Dior. Now, I did just recently do an unboxing of my brand new Dior Diorama handbag. And I have been wearing this every single day since I unboxed it because I do want to do a full blown video reviewing it and letting you guys know how I like it, how I wear it, the wear and tear and everything. So stay tuned for that video. I'm definitely going to be doing it, but I want to have you know a, a good feeling about it, a good opinion, and I don't wanna just make it just to make it. But anyways, I do think Dior is kind of coming back full throttle into the fashion world and you guys should definitely be on the lookout for them this year. They've kind of always been here, you know, been in the fashion world, obviously, you know, they are a major fashion house and everything. However, they're like really here now in many, many good ways. I think their new designs that they keep coming out with are just gorgeous. I just really, really love their designs. I think, you know, they're very, very classic. But yet, you know, because I think everything's happening really quickly for them, it's a little bit trendy. I do think this is a very classic, classic bag and will withstand the test of time. I really do believe that. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought it. And it does have a hefty price tag. It is $3,300. Dollars. I'm so sorry I didn't mention that in the video um, when I unboxed it. I was kind of just all over the place. I did end up linking it in the description box, but in the actual video, I didn't mention this. So this was $3,300 um, US dollars. So it's a hefty, hefty price tag. Um, but I do think it's a very classic bag and I'm so happy with it. I've mentioned this before, but I knew Gucci was gonna blow up and I'm mad at myself for not jumping on it kind of and kind of being ahead of the curve at the time. Um, and that's how I felt about this bag. It made my heart sing, but I knew that I kind of wanted to be ahead of the time before I got behind the times. And so I'm really happy that I did pounce on this bag. And I totally understand if people prefer, you know, the Chanel classic flap or the boy bag over this. Um, I do think this is a little bit, you know, it's, it's definitely similar, but it's different at the same time. And I do think it's gonna be able to kind of hold its own place in the fashion arena. The next designer that I think is, you know, just coming out of nowhere, even though they've already been here and kind of had a moment before, but I think this year they're just getting crazy big. And that would be Chloe, which is crazy because I feel like they, you know, they had a little time back in the day, not even that long ago, um, but there's a Chloe Drew, there's a Chloe Faye, there's the Chloe Marcy. I'm missing one more and now I totally forget the name of it. I shall Google. The Chloe Nile bracelet leather bag. That is, um, you know, gaining a lot of popularity right now. So like I said, there's four different bags that I think are, um, you know, pretty popular right now. The, the, the Drew and the Faye, they've been around a long time. Um, when I went to Las Vegas, for some reason, the Chloe Drew bag, like, I had never really seen it in person. No, I take that back. I definitely have seen it in person before. But for some reason on that trip, I was like really loving it. I don't know if it was maybe the color or, or whatnot, but it is the one with the, the, the chain like necklace looking um, strap on it. And it was just gorgeous. Like I loved it in person. And then there's the Faye, which does have like the O and then you kind of like clip in the chain to close it. That's really interesting. And then, um, like I said, the Nile bracelet bag is very different. Um, it has have this big O and you kind of like carry it around 
you know, it, it's just kind of, it's kind of weird. I feel like you kind of have to acquire taste for that. But I do think as a whole, Chloe is making a huge comeback and I think they're, they're definitely a designer to kind of watch out for in the next year. Okay, so those are my top three designers that I think are gonna be huge in the next year. If I mean, they already are, but I think they're gonna be, you know, gaining more popularity as time goes on. I know there's so many others, trust me, I know. So I would love to hear what you guys think are, you know, really trendy and really, you know, good designers designers out there that are going to be kind of, you know, making a run for it in 2017, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear your opinions and I really like knowing what other people are loving. Um, it really gives me good ideas and, and kind of maybe points me in a direction that I might not have thought of going. So definitely let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed filming this video. I had been taking notes on it for quite a while just kind of gathering my thoughts, but I really enjoyed filming this video and I hope you liked it. So thanks again and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.